There's a billionaire named Leon Cooperman who cried on live television, and there's a lot of sort of misreporting about why he was crying or what the entire point of the thing was. If you've not heard of Cooperman, he's a hedge fund guy. He runs Omega Advisors. He's been sort of going back and forth with Elizabeth Warren saying, I don't need Elizabeth Warren telling me I'm a deadbeat and that billionaires are deadbeats, arguing that the vilification of billionaires makes no sense to him and that the world is a better place because of people like Bill Gates and Michael Bloomberg and other rich people. This happened on CNBC. Let's look at it and then discuss. I think um, I mean, I think it's kind of obvious people can not only see the um, emotion on your face, but hear it in your voice when you talk about this, Lee. Why? I care. That's it. But in all that you have said of, of, of where the economy is, where the stock market is, uh, the wealth that has been created since the president was inaugurated through, through the stock market appreciation, you still think it would be a better idea if he did not run for re-election at this particular time? Well, I think I said, you know, you're looking to get me into trouble. So listen, there's no shame in crying. I mean, this is just this is zero percent about, oh, look at the guy crying. It's not manly to cry. It's not about anything like that at all. And there are also headlines that have promoted this as Leon Cooperman is crying over being taxed or whatever. It's not really about that either. He signed a pledge to give away like all of his money or almost all of his money. This is about, first of all, a guy who's 76 and has more than three billion dollars crying because he sees Elizabeth Warren's policy ideas of a wealth tax as bad for the country. And more importantly, he's crying because he seems to feel that these policies are personal attacks on billionaires as individual people, as being individually bad people. This is what I think the main point that should be made about all of this is and, and the idea of a wealth tax and inequality and dealing with it. This is not about billionaires personally being bad people. This is about fixing a broken system that allows this level of inequality that allows a country as rich as the United States to still have people starving or unable to meet basic expenses or unable to afford an unexpected four hundred dollar expense or at risk of bankruptcy if they get sick or have a medical condition or some kind of car accident. That's what this is about. So I understand Leon Cooperman taking it personally to a degree. But someone needs to tell him that's simply not what it's about. I'll even go further. I am open to the idea that Leon Cooperman is a pretty good guy at a personal level. I might not agree with his politics, but at the same time, he is part of the system that allows the raping and pillaging of the 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 greater good and uh, the middle class for the gain of the financial industry and really rich dudes like him. Now, how could he both be an OK guy and part of such a corrupt system and process? This is the way it is. Personally, he's pledged to give away some huge portion of his fortune or all of it. OK, that's a good thing. He's a philanthropist. That's fine. But at the same time, he was one of the top executives at Goldman Sachs during the time that they were engaging in all sorts of criminal activities for self enrichment, including um, uh, uh, insider trading, uh, manipulating energy prices, mortgage fraud, accounting fraud. So he's taking it personally, maybe because he doesn't understand. Maybe he's taking it personally because he has a guilty conscience. But the policy prescriptions of taxing wealth or capital gains or whatever, these are not attacks on people personally, or at least they shouldn't be seen that way. It's about even good people can be cogs in a system that is fundamentally immoral. And the immorality of the system needs to change. It's not necessarily the people, although many of the people could use some realignments to their moral compasses as well. And so I think that this is an interesting video. I think that a lot of the coverage of it has maybe misunderstood what this is and isn't about, but it actually gives us some insight into some of the resistance that exists out there to the policies of people like Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders, which is that it is being taken personally and it really shouldn't be. Uh, because this is about fixing a system, not about calling individual people necessarily bad people. That being said, industry is filled with horrible people. Uh, if you look at, you know, executives at fossil fuel companies who 
knew the damage that their business was doing to the planet and to people's health for decades, and they covered it up and continued raping and pillaging the resources of the planet at the expense of people's health and the planet's health. Uh, that's not something a good person does. Uh, but we should be able to think about these things discreetly and separate them out and really make more sense than what some of the salacious headlines seem to be implying.